Jesus More Christ. than 11,000 people are now thought to have been killed in southern Asia after an undersea earthquake sent enormous waves rolling across the Indian Ocean. You have listened to many stories related to the 2004 tsunami about the sufferings, loss of livelihoods and of little hope for a better life. We want to tell you a different story about a program that responded to an essential need of the people affected. The need for clean water. After the disaster, access to clean water became a major issue for people living in coastal Sri Lanka. In response, the Sri Lankan Red Cross Society and the American Red Cross decided to introduce an appropriate technology and product to solve this problem. And we wanted to have a, a low-cost household water treatment system for places where people did not have access to clean water because the tsunami flooded all the wells, all the wells along the coast, so people didn't have good, clean, potable water. And a lot of the water sources were, were destroyed. We came up with concept papers on how to address the situation. We've established two plants, one in Kalania and the other in Matara, to manufacture the, the clay pots. These filters represent a sustainable way for Sri Lankans to get safe point of use water and reduce their risk of contracting diarrhea and waterborne diseases. Kalinta acting in Hari, Lindingharigan Lavatron, Nakedis Toker in the Naki Bonagati, Dangi Masina, Kilimu filtrated the Azama Parchikan. 